Thou art coming, fruitful summer, by William Billington. Thou art coming, fruitful summer, down the starry steep of time, and the vision makes my spirit burst unbidden into rhyme. Thou art coming, robed in splendour, like a bridegroom to his bride, and the earth crowned with spring blossoms, fame was smiley to her side. Thou art coming in thy brightness, down the steep and starry slope, of the dim prophetic future, by the golden gate of hope. She is watching to behold thee, in thy ripe and ruddy charms, skies are waiting to enfold thee, in their world-embracing arms. As the mariner a slumber, mid the ocean billows roar, dreams of meeting with his true love, on some dear and distant shore. She has hungered for thy presence, when her hills were hid in snow, and in dreams beheld thy glory, when bleak boreas did blow. She has borne the blasts of winter, she has felt the frozen breath of that king of desolation, hoary kinsman of dark death. But thou comest in thy brightness to embrace the earth again, like a sunburst on the meadows after days of drenching rain. Thou art peering through spring shadows, and thy chastened glory gleams, like the presence of the angels, through an infant's Eden dreams, like the sun of joy and gladness, through rich rain of happy tears, or the memory of childhood, through the mantling mist of years. In the rosy flush of morning, or the crimson glow of eve, or the dimness of the twilight, when the yellow moth doth leave his leaf palace in the thicket, and on wings of moonlight spread, seeks his bride, turned to a field flower, and flies circling round her bed, to unwind the witching charm web which had lured her from her nest, while he rings her with love lustre, folds her beauty to his breast. We shall feel thy radiant spirit, brooding o'er us like a dove, full of mystery and glory, full of beauty and of love. For as Jove came down to Danai, to embrace the earth again, thou art coming down from heaven, in a shower of golden grain. Thou wilt fill a cup of being, with the fiery wine of life, she will walk the heights of rapture, when thou takest her to wife. Like some bright embodied splendour, all the spirits of the noon, clad in leaf and woven kirtle, crimson scarf and golden shoon, thou wilt toll the sleeping thunder in the hollow of thy hand, whilst the lightning's fiery fountains overflow at thy command. Thou wilt raise the human spirit, rouse and renovate the sod, making earth look more like heaven, making man more like his God. Showing shadows of lost Eden, when the dim red moon doth rise, flashing heaven through rich sunsets on the bard's adoring eyes. Thou art coming, swathed in glory, down the starry steep of time, and the pageant makes my spirit burst unbidden into rhyme. For I see thy sunbright sceptre, and thy sanguine cinctured zone, and thy crown of purple fruitage, and thy green and golden throne.